Let go and leave the world behind at the Sierra Madre Grand Opening this October. We'll be waiting. Has your life taken a turn? Do troubles beset you? Has fortune left you behind? You've heard of the Sierra Madre Casino. We all have. The legend, the curses, foolishness about it lying in the middle of the city of the dead, buried beneath a blood-red cloud, a bright, shining monument luring treasure hunters to their doom. The world's most famous stars and entertainers were invited to its grand opening. An invitation was a sign of exclusiveness. The opening was supposed to symbolize a road to a brighter future, not just for the world, but for all who came to its doors. A chance for anyone to begin again. Except the Sierra Madre never opened. The war froze it in time, like a big flashbulb going off. The grand opening, one big ending of humanity. It's still out there, in the wastes, preserved, just waiting for someone to crack it open. But getting to it, that's not the hard part. It's letting go. Are you listening? Good. From now on, when I talk, listen, and follow my instructions. Play stupid. Play clever. Make the mistake of saying no. That collar on your neck will go off and take your head with it. It's like that fit boy on your wrist, except filled with explosives. A little radio of the old world. Just needed some too. Do what I said, and the collar will go off. Refuse, try and run, disobey me, I'll kill you and find someone else. There's no escape from here until I let you go. The sooner you accept your situation, the better. That structure you see above the fountain, the Sierra Madre Casino, you need to break inside. Ah, uh, heist. Too many years in the making. But to get inside, avoid its traps, you'll need to gather a team. As I found, one cannot do it alone. Around the world are three other callers like yours. Caller 8, 12, and 14. Find all three and get them here to the phone. Then we'll talk to them. And should you get any ideas about killing each other and taking the treasure of the Sierra Madre for yourself, a warning. All your callers are linked. One of you dies, you all die. If that's what it takes to make you cooperate, so be it. Because in some respects, breaking into the Sierra Madre is easier than breaking human instinct. Greed. The villa is filled with corpses. Some killed by the dangers here, some by me. Others turned on each other. Once they realized the Sierra Madre could be theirs, they cared nothing for their freedom, their survival, or each other. The ones brought here live on only in what they've left behind. Their morals. Graffiti on the walls, and victims they've killed. Some tried to help, left supplies and healing for others who came. Their reward? They were tracked down, killed by others with baser instincts. Some of these murderers went as far as to leave traps behind them, turning markers for help into death traps for anyone following them. It killed some of them when they forgot where the traps were. 
or when they desperately needed the assistance they had cut others off from. Too many, many. This place is dangerous. And its quarantine measures, its hazards, have claimed many failures upon failures. Do you think I wanted to place collars on you to ensure compliance? No. If robots could have done this, I would have sent them. The Sierra Madre is a complicated lock. Cracking it open requires human hands. The Sierra Madre has many defenses, means of screening guests for illicit or dangerous items. Your arrival here, weaponless, was not my intention. The casino, this village, takes anything with even a trace of radioactivity, traces of unknown substances, and returns it home. The bunker. The process is automated, and the casino itself has other similar services. I was unable to find a workaround except to send others in as tools. Still, I have not left you defenseless. And the Sierra Madre's security, in some respects, can help you if you are resourceful enough. This place is well preserved. Few who came here ever return. All of the treasures of the old world lie scattered about, virtually untouched. Search, hunt, craft what you can from what you find. The trash of the pre-war era can keep you alive. Food, knives, more. Use them. Even the villa's toxins, and the residue it leaves behind, can be shaped into tools and weapons. Gather it as well. Also, there is one more thing in your possession. A rifle that will keep you alive, as surely as the caller will. It is a hollow rifle, a weapon I constructed when I arrived. I have since made superior models and modifications. For now, that too will have to do until you find other weapons. And I suggest you do. The hollow rifle's ammo is limited. Still, it should serve well enough. I fashioned it from the holograms of the villa and used it against the villa's living inhabitants. Yes. The inhabitants. Avoid them if you can. They are difficult to kill. Whatever has created them, bullets, explosions, energy, it can make them inert for a time, then they seem to crawl back up, restored. Perhaps it's the clock. Perhaps something in their physiology. The cloud is what blankets the sky here. You may smell it in the air. Copper and sulfur. Burns the lungs and seeps into the skin. As for its origins, I'm not certain. Pre-war industrial pollutants. Something in the Sierra Madre structure. It is unique across the wasteland. And deadly. It has kept this place preserved since the Great War.